Good morning, Paul and Pauline here, down by the Maroochee River, and uh, we're continuing our reading through some excerpts from the Old Testament, and it's very important that we do so, because we learn so much from our history. Ask Pauline to read a little bit out of the book of Judges. Well, we're by the Maroochee River on a nature strip, and right here there's a couple of big kangaroo poos, so the nature's been here before me. From Judges 2, the angel of the Lord at Bochum. The angel of the Lord went up from Gilgal to Bochum and said, I brought you out of Egypt and led you into the land I swore to give your ancestors. I said, I will never break my covenant with you and you shall not make a covenant with the people of this land, but you shall break down their altars. Yet you have disobeyed me. Why have you done this? And I have also said, I will not drive them out before you. They will become traps for you, and their gods will become snares to you. When the angel of the Lord had spoken these things to all the Israelites, the people wept aloud, and they called that place Bochum, which means weeping. There they offered sacrifices to the Lord. Continuing from verse number 6 about the disobedience and the defeat. After Joshua had dismissed the Israelites, they went to take possession of the land, each to their own inheritance. The people served the Lord throughout the lifetime of Joshua and of the elders who outlived him and who had seen all the great things the Lord had done for Israel. Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died at the age of a hundred and ten, and they buried him in the land of his inheritance at Timnath, Heres, in the hill country at Ephraim, north of Mount Gash. After the whole generation had been gathered to their ancestors, Another generation grew up who knew neither the Lord nor what he had done for Israel. Then the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord and served the Baals. They forsook the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of Egypt. They followed and worshipped various gods of other peoples around them. They aroused the Lord's anger because they forsook him and served Baal and the Ashtoreths. In his anger against Israel, the Lord gave them into the hands of raiders who plundered them. He sold them into the hands of their enemies all around, whom they were no longer able to resist. Whenever Israel went out to fight, the hand of the Lord was against them to defeat them. Just as he had sworn to them, they were in great distress. And how sad that all is, and it's a gentle reminder for us today that the generations have gone off to worship other gods. It's many generations since we all went as families to church on a Sunday and all learned about things that the Lord had done through our study of the Word. But nowadays, several generations have passed and they no longer respect or honour things of God. They don't worship in a church or gather on a Sunday. Uh, our generations are lost. And they're suffering as a result of it. They, like these Israelites, they were in great distress. And they're getting confused. They're worshipping other gods. They're chasing after uh, the gods of materialism. They chase after things of lust, things of the flesh and they never get to worship or even know the Lord our God. So <clears throat> that's why we try to put some of these studies onto Facebook and on YouTube so that we can at least try to reach some people who are searching for what God wants for them. <clears throat> so there, a little reading out of the book of Judges. God bless you. You get into the Word yourself and... May the Word of God get into you. And then you go and tell others what God has done for you. See you later. Have a great day. And God bless you.